Hi everyone, welcome back to Project Reactor Essentials and in this video we are going to talk about the zip operator. So the zip operator, as you can see here, it's going to zip multiple sources together. And here in this marble example, we have two streams, the first one with elements A, B, C, D, E and the second one with numbers. Basically, the zip will get the first element of each one of the streams and they are going to apply a function together for this one so for example a we will have a1 and you can see the result b we have b2 c with 3 d with 4 and when the shortest string finishes then the zip will be finished in this case as you can see we don't have another one to match with e that's why it's going to end with d4 so let's see how that works uh, with one simple example. Let's imagine here that we have a, let's create a simple class. Let's create a class called enemy. And this class will have a couple of attributes, for example, title, um, studio, and then uh, let's say episodes. And since we are using Lombok, let's just use all our constructor and then we don't need a getter or well, let's say that we created a getter and then to string and equals and hash code for the tests. Okay, pretty simple class that we are going to use to test. Let me move this one down, this method. And here I will create another method. Let's call public void and this will be zip operator okay so this uh, zip operator it's pretty straightforward add here a test and let's create two fluxes the first flux will be one with uh, names let's give some anime tiles here for example grand blue and then Baki. and then we are going to create another one this will be for the studio as you can see they are independent fluxes this one will be 0 G and for Baki is a TMS entertainment and uh, the last one will be number of episodes 12, 24. This one this is Studio Flux, and this one will be Episodes Flux. Okay, so now that we have these three fluxes, let's say that we would like to create objects uh, that are an object of anime. So we would like to get the first one of each one of these and have an anime object. In the end so we are going to zip them together for that just add flux.zip and then you give the publishers so in this case we have tile we have studio and we have uh, episodes so this was flux flux and flux so when we zip this and if we introduce a local variable, there are a couple of things. First, we have this tuple. So tuple is kind of uh, um, a structure that can store any kind of object that you want. So in this case, it's returning for us a tuple with three types of objects, two strings and one integer. So tuple is useful if you are going to chain, for example, method calls and you would like to reuse uh, whatever you have from, let's say you have, uh, let's say that you have method one, you have method two, and let's say that you have method three. And you would like to use, you are going to call method one, and then of course the result of method one you are going to use here on method two. And then if you have method three that is going to use the return from method two and also the method one, you could create, for example, method uh, two to return like a, a tuple with the result from 
method one and then method two using a map uh, map for example so tuples are pretty useful when we talk about project reactor so here um, this is not what we want we want to have a new object so we would like the enemy to be created so for that we are going to add here the flat map and we want this tuple to become a new enemy so since we are working with flat map we cannot just create a new enemy here and get tuple dot get t1 what is t1 it's in the order that we are calling here so title studio and then episodes so t1 tuple dot get t2 and tuple dot get t3 so you cannot do that because since we are using flat map we have to return a publisher so it's pretty simple just flux dot just and now you have this if we introduce a local variable flux of enemy now how can we test this let's first execute the let's subscribe to this flux and just print the enemy and see the result so as you can see we have two enemies and this flux is doing exactly what we see here so we have the a the a would be uh, grand blue and the second one here the number one would be uh, zero g the studio and we have a third one that would be the 12 number of episodes so we have a new object created based on these uh, three fluxes and now to test step verifier dot create enemy flux and then uh, dot expect subscription and then uh, expect next we can copy this one here no, actually let's just type it's faster new enemy and we have here grand blue 0g and 12 and another enemy that would be Baki and the studio TMS entertainment a number of episodes 24 dot expect or verify complete and let's test let's remove this uh, subscription and we have here our test working and this is the zip operator zip with it's exactly the same thing but the difference is that you have uh, support only for two operators so let's say that we are going to zip only the this title flux with studio or for example with episodes let's do title and episodes so if we are doing this way what we have to do is we call this title flux and then we zip with whatever we want here in this case episodes flux and you will see that we have here the same flat map exactly the same structure but the difference is now the studio is not part of this so we have to remove here and then we get t2 so t1 will be the title and t2 in this case will be the episodes and it just create here anime flux and the studio will be no here and no here and we remove this one and this one and this one let's execute this piece of code and we get the the test working so for this uh, video that's it see you in the next one bye